in this section of the video uh, we're going to have a look at some of the common tool buttons that appear within the scene interface of point HD and see what they do um, so over here at the bottom we have our undo redo and clear um, we have unlimited undo so let's say you're doing some annotation and whoops you've made a mistake um, you can click on undo um, and you have unlimited numbers of undos as well so if by mistake we said okay we wanted to redo that then again you've got multiple redos um, if we click on the clear all of the current graphics that are being displayed on the screen will disappear and once you've clicked clear you can't redo so it clears the memory and um, you're basically starting from afresh okay so if we look at the top we have our close button this is our main close button to exit and go back to the main menu um, over here we have a no pick tool and uh, the idea behind this is is that let's say we've drawn a circle um, now if we click in the middle of the circle we can actually move that circle around anywhere on the screen um, and let's say we want to draw an arrow if we want to draw an arrow from outside of the circle to the inside well that's fine uh, but let's say what we want to do is to draw an arrow from the middle of the circle going outwards so in this mode the system doesn't know whether you want to pick up and move the actual circle or you want to draw because remember that if we're using a touch screen we've only got one button pressed down uh, with each finger touch so what we do here is we click on the no pick tool which means that any of the graphics that are on the screen are then frozen in place so now I can use my arrow tool to to draw from the middle of the circle outwards and of course if we um, click on no pick again we can then take the circle and drag it around anywhere we want so this works with all of the custom graphics and the tools within uh, the point HD trainer um, if we look at our um, live button what this allows us to do is is that remember we have a, a secondary output which goes out to the viewing audience um, because the viewer screen doesn't contain any of the tools or the buttons that the presenter would see you would only see the video background plus the annotations so let's say you wanted to practice something and uh, you want to hide uh, whatever you're going to do next from the actual viewing audience then you can click on live which changes to preview and uh, you can then um, do whatever you want inside your presenter screen and that way it won't appear on the output of course if you click on live straight away anything that's on screen will then go out okay um, and of course we have our rectangle zoom which basically is available in all scene modes so that uh, this allows us to zoom an entire area of a uh, picture to fill the screen the little button that we see up here this is our record button this allows us to record our ongoing presentation uh, into a video file format uh, and again we'll explain that in one of the other um, sectional guides of the video so these are the main functions of the actual point HD trainer scene file and the main tool functions